up everybody, it's the Game Bastard and I wanted to do a, a little tutorial today for all you old PC geeks out there. Uh, say you're digging around in a box and you come across, sweet, 7 Max hit the road, or if you're an uber geek like me, you found the fucking diskettes. And, or, let's say you found Warcraft 2. And you want to play these, but you got Windows Vista, Windows 7, even Windows XP has a problem playing these games, because a lot of them are DOS based. I'm going to show you two programs to use uh, to get these games to work, uh, Scum VM and DOSBox. So let's go! Alright, so the first thing we want to do is download the installers. Um, the first one you want to get is um, the Scum VM, uh, the script creation utility man, <laughs> script creation utility for Maniac Mansion Virtual Machine. That's what it stands for. Um, go over to the downloads, and you can see they make um, installers for pretty much anything you could possibly think of. But we're going to get the Windows installer. Click on that, install. Um, next we want to download the DOSBox application from DOSBox.com. Go to the downloads and download the uh, Windows 32-bit installer. I'm running a 64-bit but I haven't had any issues. Uh, works just fine. So once you get those installed, um, we're going to... Um, well, there's a couple ways we can run these games. Um, first and foremost, we can run them directly from the CD-ROM drive. Uh, second, we can actually copy and paste. Uh, so what we want to do is put our CD in. I have uh, Warcraft 2 in here. Uh, Right-click and go to Open. And I literally just copied, shift, pasted the whole thing. Uh, into a folder, but for this actually I'm going to run this off of um, the CD-ROM drive when we get to that. Alright, so what you want to do is um, open Scum VM. You can do it via the start menu or you can create a desktop uh, shortcut like I did for here. Uh, so, once you got your game copied and you know your directory, click add game, click uh, go up until you get to the screen uh, where you can choose the drive. Mine's on my J drive. And keep clicking through until you find the directory that has the executable. Uh, in this case, it's uh, salmonmax.exe. Click choose. And this uh, options menu is going to come up. Um, I usually uh, override the graphics settings, uh, do HQ3X, um, which is a little nicer uh, graphic setting that rounds out the edges, looks nice. Um, full screen, I've had issues with this aspect ratio correction, so I'm not going to click it. Um, there's also audio settings, volume, all sorts of stuff. Um, I don't know what half of this is. This is, if you're having issues, I guess, I don't know. Doesn't matter, this works just fine. Click OK. Click start. And I was having issues with the audio recording through, so I don't know what you guys are hearing. Friends, we've only gone out together three times, and already uh, you just want to be friends. Keys work the same. Escape if you want to get through all the uh, intros. Get to the game. Now, if you want audio and um, subtitles, click uh, hit F5, um, go to options, and you can do speech subtitles both. Uh, also adjust um, the speed and the, the volumes. Uh, this is also where you're going to be doing your saving and loading from your games. Um, well, that was a pleasantly understated credit sequence. And there you go. Uh, if you go back to the laundry, you can. Alright, so this is where it gets kind of confusing. Uh, you want to open your uh, application. And this is going to be our emulated version of DOS, the disk operating system, one of the oldest operating systems. Um, 
and there's a lot of typing involved, so I'll try to explain this the best I can. Um, the way this particular program works is we want to establish a C drive. This does not mean your C drive, it means the virtual machine's C drive. Um, so what we're going to want to do is type in mount C shift colon space and then whatever directory you're going to be taking your games out of or putting saved files or other information into. So at this point we're going to do J colon backslash old games. That is where my games are. Uh, that is the folder I want to use. Now what we also want to do is hit dash and free size and I'm going to do 1024. This is going to allocate uh, a gig of um, hard disk space to uh, DOSBox, to save games, to transfer information, whatever. It's mostly save games or installing games. Um, hit enter. And now your C drive can be used um, and it is going to be pulling all its information out of the J drive uh, with the directory of old games. Now, what we also want to do is mount a CD-ROM drive. So same deal. Mount D this time. I'm going to use D. You could use whatever letter you want. It doesn't matter. Um, and then whatever the CD-ROM drive is. In this case, it's F colon backslash. And then dash T space CD-ROM. Enter. Now your CD-ROM drive is mounted as F. So what we're going to want to do is hit F colon enter. Oops. D colon enter. My mistake. And then type in dir slash w. This is going to pull up a list of all of the folders inside of that um, directory. Uh, what we're looking for is a setup or an install, um, which we can see here. Excuse me, here and here. So I'm going to do install, enter. This is going to pull up. Click continue. It's going to install it to my C drive in War 2. It's going to install. Just taking a minute. How's Caution Seaman doing over there, John? He's been training the Gilman. Is that what they're at right now? Yeah, if you don't know what Caution Seaman is, Wikipedia, that shit. All I have to say is Leonard Nimoy, Leonard Nimoy, Fishman. <laughs> Alright, so installation was successful. Click OK. Um. You know, really, you can play around with this all day. Most people can get by just by clicking uh, Sound Blaster. Or you can click Auto Detect, which brings me to Sound Blaster. Uh, click OK. Uh, I did Auto Set. It initiates all my sound. You can always test it. Your sound card works perfectly. Awesome. Click OK. Click OK. And... Yeah, whatever. Okay. Yeah, this is all the stuff it includes. What it's actually going to do is mount you back into the Warcraft 2 uh, directory. But what we want to actually, I'm going to show you real quick is how to access any uh, directories. Um, to go backwards out of a directory, you do CD period period enter. It'll pull you out of that directory. To go forward in a directory, we want to do CD. And then whatever the directory is. Or two. If you want to see a list of directories, you can always do dir backslash w. Or, uh, if you have tons and tons of uh, files, you can do dir backslash p. And it will bring it up in lists that you can manually hit enter through. So, Warcraft 2. Uh, we're going to dir backslash p. And we see war 2. And that's what we want to do. Just type in War 2. Oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful. So get through all this. Six years have passed since the first war between man and orc. Yeah, okay, whatever. 
Alright, so escape through, get your game. Um, at this point, it's good to learn some uh, tricks. First off, uh, there is a... I can't bring my cursor out of the box. Uh, if you hit Control F10, it unlocks it. When you click back on the screen, it brings it back into here. Also, if you're having issues with it being too slow or too fast, um, you can decrease and increase the frame skip by doing Control F7 and F8. Also, F11 and F12 speed up and slow down the emulator. Um, control, or excuse me, Alt Enter, it makes a full screen while Alt Pause uh, pauses the emulator. Um, full screen kind of looks goofy for some reason when I'm recording, so I'm going to keep it in a box and a window. Um, and there you are. You. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for telling me that. I'm not fucking stupid. Windows 7. Asshole. Yeah, I'm the fucking orcs, motherfucker. Yuktar. Look at it. Look at it. It's so awesome. My cat's gonna kill me. And there you go. You've just learned how to use Scum VM and DOSBox. Pat yourself on the back and find an old game. Uh, there's thousands of them out there. Go to um, Home of the Underdogs. Uh, great. Great website. Uh, full of old games. Abandonware. Um, completely legal to download. You're going to have fun. And uh, there you go. I'll see you soon, guys. Peace.